This is a, a lead limber for the light horse. This was used to carry the ammunition for the gun. This limber here normally has a wooden pole out through the centre, one horse each side and four horses in front of that. There's usually six horses pull this gun and limber or maybe two limbers. The three horses on the left hand side are ridden and the three on the off side are controlled by the rider with a bat. This limber is brought into place with the gun and the gun is dropped off in the position needed and then the limber returns with another limber hooked on behind and this is what carries the ammunition. In these shells here they have three baskets with one shell in each one. The purpose of the basket is to protect the shell and also stop it from rattling and so it can be transported safely. On the top here you'll see some ropes. Those ropes are there at all stages in case the limber gets bogged and there's a, an eye on the axle there as you can see the rope is hooked on there and either by horsepower or manpower they're dragged out of the bog. These are ground, co ground sheet covers in case of bad weather. The riders, the limbers can carry passengers Three people sit on there, hanging on with their hands between their legs, very tightly. <laughs> same, at, same at the back, is it? Yes, that, that's the same there. What era would this be? How old would this limber be? This was First World War One. So 1914 era. Yeah, yep, that's right. Uh, where would it have been used? Um, yes, I'd say they would have been used. And where, over on the Western Front or somewhere like that, would they? Um, I couldn't say where they went to, but I'd say they'd been used, yes. Yes. And where, were, where did you get this one from? These two limbers here were found in a scrap metal yard at Stanthorpe in Queensland and were sitting in the grass, rusting away. Most people didn't realise what they were, but an observant eye spotted them told Craig Tanner about them and he went straight up and bought them, bought them back and started working on them to restore them. They've all been sandblasted and painted. Craig did the leather work and the, and the seats. The wheels were sent away and were um, made because there were no wheels. So the wheels are brand new, made by a um, coach right. And um, yeah. As you can see, they're quite heavy wheels. Made out of Australian gun, spotted gun. Uh, thanks very much, Kevin. That's really great information, and I look forward to interviewing you again.